Hi Big Tractor Power fans, in this video we're going to spend some time out in a western Kentucky field watching the 2019 corn crop being planted by a Case IH Steiger 420 four-wheel drive tractor and a 40-foot wide Kinsey 3660 corn planter putting in 16 rows of 30-inch corn. We're going to climb up in the cab and talk to the operator and find out what he likes about running this machinery and why they're using a 420 horsepower tractor on this farm to pull a 40-foot corn planter. Let's head out to the field so that you can see and hear this big machinery at work and learn a little bit about its specifications. in the cab of the Steiger 420 and we're visiting here with Mark as he plants the field. Mark, I guess the number one question that our viewers are going to have is why are you using a Steiger 420 to plant instead of a Magnum tractor on a 16 row planter? Well, the uh, Steiger for us is a versatile tractor. Uh, it's a little overkill for the 16 row planter. Uh, this tractor will pull a grain buggy in the summer, harvesting wheat, and in the fall, uh, harvesting corn and soybeans. We'll also pull a seven or nine shank ripper with it in the fall also. Uh, it's capable, we do some strip tilling, it's capable of handling a six feet row uh, grouse strip tiller also. Well, definitely a versatile machine and that all takes a lot of power yes. to pull the weight of those implements. Yes it does. It's got a big enough weight and body to it to handle those uh, heavy duty equipment. So I see we're running anywhere from about five and a half miles per hour across the field here. What it, What is your goal on a good day? How many acres can you plant with this uh, setup? Uh, we hope to hit 200 acres every day with the 16 row. You get a big, big enough field and start early and everything goes good. You will do 250 sometimes uh, with these. But most of the time we should be getting that 200 mark about every day. So how often do you have to refill the planter during the day? Or? Uh, we'll set up, we'll stop about every 100 acres. Uh, we've got 400 gallon uh, fertilizer tanks on, put on row starter. And uh, we'll put enough seed on to get to that 80 to uh, 100 acre uh, fill up stops is what we aim for. And I know another big question always is about these big mufflers that are on the Steigers and the quad tracks. And it is a big muffler, but from what I see from your perspective, it doesn't really show up behind the cab post. And same thing with the breather over there. Is yeah, it pretty good visibility? Yeah, it's real good visibility. You look at it from the outside, it looks like a monster muffler, but it's really not that bad. It's right in line with your frame. A post there, so it, it's not bad at all. And what kind of technology are you running over here? I see you know, we've got the standard screen over here on the controller, but also um, it looks like an iPad where you're kind of painting yeah. across the field. And... Yeah, we're running an iPad uh, that's modern to population, the downpour, hydraulic downpours, and uh, all those functions. Uh, we're running a 2020 seed sense, which is controlling the, uh, the down pressure. It's the brains of the operation. The iPad's just documenting that the 2020 is running everything on the planter from the electric meters to the hydraulic downforce. On the 700 on the factory monitor, we're running a Mueller controller uh, putting on our 10340 fertilizer. That's what it's controlling plus the auto steer. So that's our main, main functions on those. 
Well, it's definitely impressive what this uh, technology can do when you're planting. And yeah, it is. There's a lot of things happening at one time. And it, it gives you the capability to monitor those and make sure they're all running correctly and uh, getting uh, perfect uh, seed placement, crop fertilizer placement, and all those things that we desire. And I know your farm here has run Kinsey planters for a long time, like the 3660. Yeah, we do. We, the 3660, we've ran box planters for years and moved on up to the bulk field. And the Kinsey row unit, you just can't hardly beat it. It does a real good job. It's versatile. Uh, this planter, I have the, uh, it's a 15, a 1631. And uh, we have the bean units off the front. A lot of work, but it just uh, gets rid of a lot of excess weight in the spring of the year when it uh, can be soft at times. And that's why we strip it down. It's a real versatile planter for us. Yep, so you'd be planting beans in probably about 50, 60 days with it, the yeah, winter probably, wheat when you're cutting? And, yeah, probably so. Yeah. Yep, probably so. We've got a few early season beans we'll plant. We'll use this to plant with. And that's a good test for the, for the double crop situation. Looks like a great no-till machine from what I've seen out here in the field. And yeah, it does a good job. It does a good job. It's set up with, with uh, Martin uh, row planers, air activated, uh, no-till cutter, and then we're running Martin spike in the back and a drag chain on the back of the unit. So you, you can't hardly beat that setup for our true no-till, which we're doing today. Mark, thank you very much for the tour of the Steiger and the Kinsey Planner, and appreciate being able to come out and see all this big equipment at work. That's no problem. We enjoy having you out and showing everybody what we do in our part of the world. Yeah. And right now we're in a hilly part of the world. Yeah, all, all the more reason to be running a 420 horsepower tractor. Yeah, it is. Plus, in a no-till environment, uh, you can see it's a little bit rolling, and uh, you do not want to do any tillage and disturb that. We talked with Mark a little bit up in the cab about running this big tractor on the 16 row planter and you can see here it is a rolling field with some good slopes and it doesn't hurt to have that 420 horsepower power plant up front pulling this planter with its 110 bushel seed capacity up the hills and through the no-till conditions. Let's take a look at the general specifications of this Case IH 420 Steiger. It's manufactured by C&H Industrial at their factory in Fargo, North Dakota. It weighs in at 40,159 pounds. It's powered by an FPT 787 cubic inch 12.9 liter engine. It holds 310 gallons of diesel fuel and 42 gallons of DEF fluid for clean engine solutions. Mark mentioned that this tractor was a little overpowered for this job, but it's still well equipped to handle the row crop work. And then, as he mentioned, it does grain cart work in wheat, corn, and soybean harvesting, as well as tillage work with a 16-row strip till bar and a nine-shank ripper in the fall. The tractor also has a pretty good price tag at $389,797, although if you look at a Magnum 380, which is the largest row crop tractor available from Case IH, that tractor comes in at $395,511. So overall, for the jobs that this farm needs to do throughout the growing season, this tractor will spend about eight to nine months a year in the field. The Steiger really comes out ahead as far as its benefits and cost over the Magnum tractor. And that's why it's hooked up to the corn planter this spring.
I hope that you've enjoyed spending some time out in the field and learning about why this Western Kentucky farm utilizes a Steiger 420 for row crop work in addition to the other jobs that it does throughout the year. If you'd like to see more videos like this one, consider subscribing to Big Tractor Power YouTube where there are over 1,000 videos of farm machines in action. If you have any questions or thoughts about the video, please leave them in the comment section below as I try to respond to every post that is made. If you would like to get a preview of what is coming up next on Big Tractor Power YouTube, make sure to check out Big Tractor Power Instagram, where I share pictures and short video clips of what is currently being filmed in the field. As always, thank you for watching.